Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today, we are doing a video that was requested. Okay, so for today's video, um, we're gonna walk around, kinda show you some of the things that we've got going on in the homestead, but mostly we're gonna talk about how we make hay. Look, Chunky Monkey over here gathering eggs. How many eggs we got, baby? Three. I need to come back from here tonight and check again. Three? Yeah, okay. We probably just disturbed them. Probably just disturbed them. Okay. What? Either way. All right. So, as you can see, there's parts of my homestead that are a jungle right now. And that's because we spun a bearing on one of the pulleys on the riding lawnmower so i gotta look into that and um order that part or possibly have to get the whole new pulley so the tractor looks kind of weird without the big deck on it right now it just kind of i think it should have like side pipes or something coming out of it or uh something make it like you know what it needs it needs them spinner hubcaps side pipes with some headers coming out the where it says john deere has some headers coming out going down to some side pipes and some flames that go all the way back through the trailer yeah yeah like robin would let me do that Anyway, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna show you the finished product of the hay. But it's not really, and I got too many. I almost said something that I would never have said in my life. There's my traps. We're gonna to get to those here in the future. We got something big coming up for you with that. <coughs> almost forgot the only peach to survive the storm it's almost ready I gotta beat my kids to it though as soon as that puppy is ripe Odessa gonna build a ladder to get up there to it I just know she is <sighs> but the decking is in there along with okay so we got mama's car in here and uh, it started leaking oil real bad yesterday <clears throat> and so she went to work then told me about it or really blaze told me about it and so then i sent blaze to robin's work pick up the car bring it back and uh, we got it up and started looking around <clears throat> and the funny thing about these cars these hybrids is that you can turn them on and then the gas motor doesn't kick in so you have to sit sit in there and literally mash on the gas to get the gas motor to kick on and as soon as we did that it was like somebody took a knife to a jugular vein and the oil just started around where the oil filter goes. So I'm hoping that something happened to the O-ring and, uh, that, and that's all it is. We've been letting it cool off and we've kind of got it cleaned down. Now it's gonna cool off this evening and I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna work on it. Now, this pulley right here is loose. This is just a tensioner, and that's just, see how that pulley doesn't really move, but that one super moves. So that bearing in there is probably shot. I don't know, but I'm going to do some more research on it to try to get it to go. So let's go over to the area where we cut the grass to use for the hay 
Now most of that grass that we use that, that I showed you earlier, <clears throat> we'll try to throw out one bale every year to the cows to see if they eat it. If they won't eat it, then we pretty much use it for bedding. The raspberries have been mulched. It's done. Looks pretty good. And, uh, and so hopefully this will help with moisture control and keeping the grass and the weeds down. It's about six to eight inches thick. And uh, <clears throat> we're kind of excited about it. Hopefully it'll work. I think it'll do just fine. Now next we're gonna move over into mama's grapes and uh, do the same thing over there. Get in there and cut everything down and uh, then put all of this in there. Now, <clears throat> in the update of the homestead, we showed you guys the video of us um, cutting the hay and flipping the hay over. Well, then we had to come out here, we had to rake it up, and then we put it in our square baler. Now, this is a little, just a little homemade kind of square baler. We've got the plans off of the internet and we put it together and that's what we've been using it for. Uh, we've had great success with it. The blades, now it doesn't put out really good long, the long golden hay that you see when you go and buy a round bale or a square bale. Uh, I just don't have the blades and the right decking and the right machines to cut the grass that way to be able to turn it into that type of hay. That kind of stuff's just, ooh, woo. That, that kind of equipment's just way too expensive and uh, it's just not cost effective for us to have that with us doing pasture rotation. So I'm not gonna really be able to pull much hay in the back. Now, if I'm ever able to purchase the land beside, on either side of me, then that's something that we'll probably look into because one of those fields will end up being my hay field. And so all we basically do is we scoop up the, we rake up the grass clippings, scoop them up, put them in here, it mashes them down. There are two hooks in the bottom where you run your bailing twine over and then you run them out this door right here <coughs> and you just put it in there, push it down, put it in there, push it down. You use this plunger to help push it down. The tighter that you can get it, the better it is. And then you just tie it off and you're done. Now the tricky part is tying it off. You gotta tie it off tight. And uh, it's one of those things that you just kinda have to get used to doing. But again, it's not, we don't get a whole lot of hay. Like this big area right here that we done gave us one decent sized square bale. Now, granted, again, in, in the terms of supplementing our hay intake, it really doesn't do much. But that stuff helps out tremendously when it comes to bedding down for the chickens in the winter and the chickens in the uh, standalone coop that we're fixing to have they'll use a, trim, a lot of it, especially in the winter time. It gives them something to bed in, keep, helps keep them warm, blah, blah, blah. So that's why we do it. Because otherwise, it's just sitting out here going to waste. It's just sitting out here mulching the, the, the other grass and, uh, you know, just breaking down. Granted, it's feeding my soil, but the pigs and the chickens and everything else that we run over it does that. So, but... You guys asked a lot of questions about that on that uh, update on the homestead about that square baler and uh, I'll see if I can we made that so long ago I'll see if I can find the link to it and I'll put it in the description We missed some right there and uh, that way if you guys want to give it a go on your homestead You'll be able to and so that's really it. If you guys want more details on it about 
I don't know what else I could talk about it, but I mean, ask me any questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, it's a great nifty little tool to be able to put some bedding up for the winter time. So I hope that has helped you guys out, answered any que all the questions that you guys had. And uh, thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. God bless. And have a nice day.